Hello there and welcome back to the colony with Man and the Ants. So, today, obviously, we are taking a little bit of a look at Fallout 4. Now as it stands, I have no intention of doing a full series on Fallout 4 VR, because I only just finished Fallout 4 flat screen version in February, and I spent 182 hours on the game. I also think it'd just be a bit too long of a series, as it's 120. You need, and that's 182 hours with all the DLC. So you could say this takes half of it out. That's 90 hours. Let's say I don't do all the side quests. That's still 40 to 45 hours. So that's like 80 episodes potentially of Fallout 4, which is a lot. Um, what does that meant to be? Trigger. Trigger. We're gonna skip the intro. Everyone knows the story to Fallout 4. There's a there's a war. There's a war. Everyone dies. So. First things first, never changes. You're gonna knock him dead the there are a few things that people suggested to do to make it not look terrible. And I think this applies more to the Vive than the Rift, to be honest, from what I've heard. But the first thing you do is you change the compatibility for the game's executable to do application DPI scaling. So I've already done that. So the other thing you're supposed to do, I'm gonna put my things down for this. I don't know if this will work here. So you're supposed to go into the console which doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Now, that may be something that will come up later, possibly. We'll have a look at that in a second. Go into the console and run a couple of commands. So. Hey, my turn, big guy. So, yes. Okay, that's just going to very slowly gonna just change position. So, I'm, I'm going to start with a male character. I did play the last game as a female character, actually. Also, has very little bearing on anything, but there we go. So obviously it does work on the Oculus Rift. One thing to bear in mind is a guy who rather foolishly perhaps sort of broke embargo on his review copy said that to get through the character naming screen, you have to be not running the Steam VR beta. Uh, I think there was an update to Steam VR beta today, but I, I have opted out anyway to make sure I can get through it. So we've got to click. There we go. Okay, right, I see. So this just kind of randomly generates... A guy for you. Okay. 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 Go on an old guy. Also, it's just preset templates. I see. So what we'll go with, there's another one with long hair, wasn't there? And seeing as I have long hair, we'll start off with this angry looking dude. I don't know what next is supposed to be. Uh, trigger? No, trigger's change sex. Oh, there we go. Confirm character. Yes. So I have heard that the... Do I seem short? Nope, the ground's at about the right level, so she is apparently just tall. That's weird, isn't it? Um, I don't know what... Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Why am I so short compared to you? That's weird. I feel... I feel like a child right now. So, I need to go see if breakfast is ready. I don't know the controls. Oh. So this is what people say, mean when they say that the, uh... Oculus controls are finicky. It's because of the way it auto centers. When it auto centers the stick, it counts that as movement. So you go down to, let go of the stick, it moves back up a few. Um, we want gameplay. Uh, you're not going to tell me the controls. Okay. I'm not really sure what that back button's supposed to be either. There we go. Um, VR? Direct movement. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't want none of that teleport stuff. Jesus. Uh, no, because you can crouch to sneak. I have read that. Where else would it be? Okay, so it just pops up. No, we don't want that. We want it on the wrist. Um, smooth rotation is on. That's good. You could probably change that to... So you're trying to just get onto anything. So what people have recommended doing, actually, and something I have got set up ready to go, is having an Xbox controller to hand. So you can use the Xbox controller, which I tried to bring up into the screen as if you could see it, to do the menus, at least in the short term, because that actually works. It doesn't actually allow you to go back, because obviously you don't have the right button for it to go back, So, but at least you can change the options. And then we'll come in here, and we'll go back. Cool. Okay, so hopefully now... We have, oh, what is that? No, sorry. No, thank you. How did I get to that menu? Don't want the pit boy. How did I get to that menu? 
Oh, there we go. All right, let's just not even try. Let's just go straight to the Xbox controller. I do not want that vignette stuff. God, that's horrible. I understand that it helps people who do suffer from a bit of VR sickness, and that's you know that's absolutely fine. It makes complete sense. But it it's feels a lot worse to me than. There we go. Ideal. So, ah, right. That isn't smooth rotation, is it? But so to rotate, right stick, move in a direction, and then click. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So it moves wherever your point in the controller. You can't pick up. How did I even turn that on? I just tried to. I don't even have my pit boy yet. That doesn't seem like that should have happened. Because I was holding something down. What is it normally? I hold that. Ah, hold down the left grip. Let's turn that on and off. Okay, so can we interact with this? Yes. So that interact is that. Ah, broken again. So there isn't much you can really interact with in the beginning. There, there's our son. I'm sure he's going to be fine. Nothing bad's going to happen to him. Everything's going to be good. So let's. How do you kick off the intro? You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Now, what's weird for me is her. I don't know. I can't remember. If you, I'm sure you have multiple voices you can choose from, don't you? Because that voice is the voice that I had in my 182 hour game. So it's a bit weird for me hearing her voice. So we've got some weird sort of texture flickering going on. That you can see just, I'm assuming you're saying the same thing as I am. Why I'm also doing this when using the Oculus mirror to record the game. Can't get to the front door. How do you kick, it, kick the game off? I don't want to spend too much time here. We will have... Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. That? I'll see not. Can you get that? There we go. That's what I wanted. He comes for you every day. Okay, so... So you have to be very careful to not move the stick in the slightest when you're clicking, otherwise it doesn't detect it. Good morning! Uh, vault Tech? Vault Tech? Remind me again? I still feel very short. And helping secure your future. You see, vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. I never actually had... I'm assuming there's a way to customize your character. But I never had that option. So I guess I'm just stuck at a short height. Which is very, very weird for me. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost Yep. I mean I did hear that you can't skip the uh Can't turn that off anymore, apparently. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. There we go. Oh, me too. You have no idea. You can't skip the dialogue. Oh, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, Which is fine for something you've never played before. So if you've never seen Fallout 4, of course, then... I'm here today to this might all be new to you. But it has been out a while now, so I'm not too worried about talking over the, talk, the uh, story bits or really spending too much time. If I could skip the dialogue, I would be skipping the dialogue, to be honest. One eleven. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now you're already cleared for entrance in the. Yes, I think you are seeing these weird little texture flicker ends I'm getting. I'm not sure what that's about. I am running the latest uh, NVIDIA game ready Fallout 4 VR driver. Uh, yes, whatever you said. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Ah, right, okay. So, we're, we're back to the Xbox controller. So I ain't messing around trying to do all that with that. Apparently you can, if you're a bit careful, get used to... Uh, used to doing a sensible way. So I'm not really sure, like I said, I'm not really planning on doing a full playthrough, so... I don't really... If we just go for four in each for now... Oh, if I can. Just about four in each will do. Just something, something nice and basic. And then why can't why is accept grayed out? You must name your character. Where's the okay, right. So it's the name that people have had trouble with on the Oculus, on the Steam VR beta. 
How do I name my character? How do I name my character? I can't... Ah, okay. So if I just hold the stick up and type? No. Ah, right. What is going on here? Right. Shift. M. A. N. T. Z. No, there's no T. T. Z. Cool. Job done. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Cheers, mate. See, like I say, apparently you can't get through that. Hey, it's peace of mind. If uh, if you're not running the Steam VR non-beta version, so do bear that in mind if you're on Oculus. There is a lot of texture sort of pop-up stuff going on here. Like even just turning my head. Okay, dokie. So it does look quite nice so far. People have been quite down on the visuals. Maybe once we get out of the house. Um... How are the two most important men in my life? There'll be some sort of. Uh... Yeah, weird texture issues popping up. What did he? What did she say? I'll oh, spin the mobile. See little things like that. Why can't I grab it and spin it, or just knock it and spin it? Why have you got to just click a button? And that's kind of my, my secondary issue with Fallout 4 VR. Same with Doom VR as well, that it hasn't really been... It's not a fully realised VR version. It's quite clearly a, uh, a port with just controls remapped rather than being... Rather than being something you can uh, see, this is a little bit finicky. You need to be like really careful not to have the stick moving in any direction. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's kind of weird. Just teleports you to the couch, and then you just stood in the couch and just crouched down a bit. Cotter seems huge in real life. In, in let's say in real life. In uh in VR. We, we need to get to the vault. Now I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary. So she still seems taller than me. That must have been I'm not sure if there is a way to customize your character. You know they say women and children first? Nah son. Nah son. I'm gone. I ain't messing around. This is nuclear war. Yeah, some weird stuttering issues. Doesn't seem to be frame rate related. Does seem to be more like catching on the terrain or something. Hey there, buddy. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. God help us all. Yeah, weird. Weird things happening with the graphics. We'll see if they sort themselves out after the intro, maybe. So I can't really change. There wasn't many options to change. Oh. All right, I'm on my way. Where's my wife? There she is. Hello, wife. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I'm not wearing a wedding ring. Both of you. We love you. It'd be nice if you had the actual hand models. Maybe you do on the Vive, I'm not sure. Hold on! That is genuinely quite uh quite scary, even in VR. And then you get a nice steam menu. I'm not sure again if VR, if Vive users would see a different loading screen there. We made it. There seems to be a bit of discrepancy between Vive and Oculus users with loading screens. Everyone please 
Step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Cool. 111. Cool, I can't run, but I'm going to just walk up here slowly then. Here I go. Proceed in orderly. Your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. Hey, all right. It's down the hallway right me. there. Hey, just this way. She doesn't have to take a suit. Why have I got to take a suit? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not our that home. the others aren't great, Everything mind you. We had. My oh, I wonder what I could hear him. I thought it was just stood there. I thought the audio had gone all weird. What if they didn't make it? We'll be going over all that in order. As always, the positional audio in the game is in VR is very good. Such a lovely family you have. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Just eight. Just the eight pods. That's all you've prepared for. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okie dokie. That makes sense. Oh. Before we head deeper in the vault. I got my suit on. Time for a whole new life. Bye, wife. Resident secure. I'll definitely see you alive again. Don't worry about it. Occupant. Nothing will happen. Normal. Everything is normal. Complete. Everything is normal. Okay, so here we go then. So a little bit of apologies if you haven't seen Fallout 4 before, then I have kind of rushed through it all a little bit at the beginning there, not spending too much time faffing around or anything. It's just white. Oh, hello. Hello, wife. Your machine is definitely awake and... Why does that... That's where my feet are supposed to be. See, little things like that are a bit weird. Floor's in the same right height, but it hasn't raised me up in reference to where I am within this. My head should be up there. So that's a bit weird. What's going on here? You're waking my wife up. That's my son. I mean, you've just woken up from cryosleep. You probably should uh, not point a gun at my wife, perhaps? I'm not you, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, again, if you haven't seen Fallout 4 before, that might have been a little bit shocking to you. That is the story of Fallout 4. Partner dead. If you do choose the uh, wife character to begin and the female character, obviously it's the husband that gets shot. <coughs> and Sean is still taken. So yeah, it's something like, you know, I should be higher. My legs are just currently stood through that, so as I walk forward... Can I even walk forward? Oh, it actually raised me up as I took ownership of the, the my controls. So weird. So yeah, little things like that are a little bit not brilliant, shall we say? You're definitely fine, yeah? Okay. Yep. Yeah, short. Long story short, they're all dead. That's, that's fine. They're all dead. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. So I, if anything, I need to move the stick slightly to the right, like up and right, to get the perfect place to click. Oh, they did have more pods. But, you know, again, spoiler, they all dead. They all dead. We have a computer here. Can we use the computer? Okay, so that's not a floating screen. That's fine. Uh, I 
I mean, they all dead. They all dead, that's fine. Now, so the back button is the grip button. That's what that little weird circle is there. Oh, I'll have a, another jumpsuit. Ah, can I just... Ah, so I have hand models now, but the Oculus hands are still showing. Oh my god. So, the left trigger is jump. And that's normally what I'd expect to be pick up in a Vive game. So, how would I just... Ah, up, holding up on the stick and clicking in the stick and holding the stick in. Just pick up. Okay. And a simple tap. To put it in your inventory. Okay. Roaches. And where'd you get your first weapon from again? I'm not really too sure. Don't you just find a gun lying around? Have I maybe missed that? That's definitely a roach there. How'd you get to the invent? Oh, pit boy. Pit boy. I don't have a pit boy yet. Okay. So I can't. How do you equip an en how do you equip a weapon? Ah. Okay, it's just kind of automatically equips. Giant roaches. What the hell? And now that I've equipped a weapon, I've lost my hand models. It would be nice to if you could still see the hands. That would be that would be cool. But not to be, but that's fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about normally I'm quite uh, fastidious about opening every single thing. And taking everything I can, but uh, not for the moment. Come on then, come on then. Oh, oh. Okay. Raise your melee weapon or hands to block. Okay. Well, it's like up to in front of your face. Is that what it means? Come on then, you little mugger. Oh, you Jesus, when you're to jump. And we can serve them, of course. I'll have that delicious meat. Can I pick up? Why doesn't it just transfer it? Take all. No, I can't pick up a rad roach. No, okay. So the controls are okay so far. Obviously, there is the caveat that we're not really supposed to be. Give me them stim packs. Give me. Oh, is that just a thing? Which way is that? Down? Right? Also, oh, sometimes that comes up. Other times it doesn't. It's because it's not, it's because it is counting my Oculus. I can show where you can see there, that circle's off there a little bit. That seems to be where it's counting as the center. Like if I just click without moving it, more often than not, it doesn't come up. It does have to be off center a little bit for some reason. Just take it. Why can't I get close to that? Stop it. Oh, 
Right. Okay. Ooh, pair of glasses. Yes, please. So. Doesn't really mean we figured out a way to uh, get to our inventory yet, though, does it? I'm not sure that you could without your pit boy. We'll take all of that. Can't get into there, obviously, yet. What happened here? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? I'm trying to pick him up, but I can't. You're empty. You're empty. Cigarettes, there were some money. Okay, so. Let's move on. Terminal should open this. Oh, okay. A little hacking tutorial. Yep. Uh cool. Do I need the rest of it? No, I don't. Cool. So that means a fraction of what was it? Is it? Yeah, it was Doom, wasn't it? Doom where the gun was lot of up here. That means a little fraction off, but not much. It's a little bit lower than I would expect. Press R menu to enter vats? What the hell is that? What's that? Oh, that, right, it's B. B on the right controller is VATS. Right. How do you reload? How do you reload? Is there no way to force a reload? Thought there was. Press the right, right grip. Right, the right grip is reload, okay. Oh, right, that's my uh, my webcam. I'm just hitting my gun there, so I'm just going to take a step back. Okay, and then up here. Idiot. Idiot! Nice, you can melee with a gun, that's quite cool. Activate. Oh, where's the pit boy? Where is the pit boy? We down here somewhere, isn't it? Is that where I came from? I've been in there. Oh, where is the pit boy then? Very confused. That's not where I came from, is it? No. Well, I have been in there. Okay. No, oh, should we just follow the marker? No, because the marker takes us there. Light's very bright. I would uh, change the color of that if I uh, had an option. Is it down here, the pit boy? No. You'd have thought in one of those boxes, but I can't remember for the life of me now where you get the sodden pit boy from. Why aren't you wearing a pit boy? Oh, it's all oh, right. No, it was telling me where it was. Idiot. Okay, so that might get a little bit annoying. Like going to block and it's just like, whoo, giant pit boy in your face. Okay. 
So, how? It's not what I wanted. Oh, clicking in the stick. Yeah, so I think this would be a bit of a... If you have to use the left stick to do this, I think this would be a bit of a nightmare trying to... I want to, uh... I don't want any of that. I want to, I want to put that on. How do I wear them? Ah, there we go. Okay, so your yeah, controls are a, a bit of an issue. And I can no longer act interface with things now that I've got my pit boy on. That now just takes control. That's the only thing you can do with that hand, apparently. Door yeah, I might have to change the pit boy because I wonder if you set it to be. No, because it'll just come up into your face, won't it? Yeah, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of, of that. As much as I like the idea of that. It'd be nice if there's some form of hit boy button you could press, I think, to activate it. So I want to use that to pick up stuff still, and I can't. And obviously it seems a little bit, bit off-centered as well. You can see where the Oculus thinks your wrist is. And let's just put it directly on our hands. Still, again, should point out this has not been approved for use on the Rift. It is a Vive only game, so, you know, be thankful it's working at all, I guess. But it would be nice, and I'm sure Bethesda have the same excuse they have with Doom DFR. No, VFR, Doom VFR, which was they don't have an Oculus to test on, so they cannot guarantee any form of compatibility issues will not occur, essentially which I still maintain is an absolutely bullshit. Uh, so I can't change my appearance here, just my... Yeah, I wanted, I'd love to see if I can make myself taller, to be honest, but okay, that's fine, we'll just finish. I'd love to make myself taller. I do feel that, so again, to the floor is the right height from where my head is. So I wonder if you can even change your height, and if you can change your height, in game they must just scale the size of the world around what you've said your height is so the floor is always correct and that would be mental wouldn't it that'd be mental well here we are then here we are so at a distance things are a little bit a little bit sort of blurry pixely oh can we now get to the console now that we are in game. Now the guy in the video, Mersion Gamer83, I think his name was, had pressed the at key. I was not sure the at key was the correct one. I think he might have meant the tilde key for us UK gamers. That still doesn't seem to do anything. Is it because I haven't got the game in focus? Let me just try around, play around a second with this. Oh, I don't actually have the game in focus because I had the mirror there. Ah, it is at. So, right. You now need to type. In fact, I'm going to have to just bring up my email so I can remember what I said. So, you need to type T A A space off. T A A space off. So, everything sort of looks like that. I might actually just turn that back on again so I can see what that looks like. It wasn't really looking in the headset. So that's off. That's on. Oh, I can see what they mean. Yeah, that is a proper like fuzz to everything, isn't it? Right, let's turn that off. Yeah, everything does look a lot sharper, but it looks quite, quite sharp now. So what you can also do is type FX AA on. Which looks like that. So it's it's better than the TAA Alasian. Uh, temporal, I think that is. And now it's using FXAA. So that should be a little bit better. So that done. 
that done, I cannot move. Oh, it's because I've still got the console open. All right, let's close the console. There we go. Okay, so let's go home. Again, I do still... People said the scale and everything felt really good in the game, but... Like... I guess cones are pretty big, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, yellow box is normally good. I'll have that right away, son. It's not actually what I wanted to do. Of course, because you can't... If we come out of that a second... You can't move down and then press take. Unless you can do it with the other... Stick. No, it has to be with the, the left stick. So you have to come into here. So yeah, another bit of a minor issue with controls. Again, it's not designed for the Rift, but... Again, I think their excuse for not making it more compatible is rubbish. And they're, they're, control-wise, they could definitely have made it... easier. So it would be more portable between the Vive and the Oculus. So they have chosen sort of not to do that. Uh... Oh, sprinting, yeah, I'll oh, sprint, that's fine. Do I have stamina? Is that my AP? There it is, yes. Action points. And here is Sanctuary. I did go very full on with the... Home bases, what do they call them? Can't remember now, where you build up little bases and stuff in your home. Sanctuary was my main one, no, by far. I didn't really do anything in the other ones apart from what I needed to. Yep, let's talk to Codsworth. It's, it's really you. Yeah, we talking, we're talking, my gun's gone. Uh you're still here. You're you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. Yeah, mate, come on. Wrap it up. Oh, Coldsworth. They. They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things. Is that flickering over there on those buildings? Yeah, I'm really not sure what's causing that. I've not heard anyone else say they've got any issues. I do have a pretty beefy GPU, so I wouldn't expect to have any sort of problems in that regard. Um, wonder if that's something to do with the DPI set and I've set on the application itself, maybe. Don't know. Now, Fallout 4 was never the best looking game, but you can see what they mean about it not looking great. Um, I feel fine. No matter how long it's been. Like the... I'm sure it's something to do with the Elaze in it that's using now, but if you look over there, like those trees in the background look pretty crappy. If we just come back in and go into the console again. Just turn FXAA off a second while we're facing over there. I actually think I prefer it without, you know. I think I prefer it without. Like, there's the trees, although it's of quite a jaggy sort of look. They don't just look like a sort of amorphous, blurry blob in the distance. So I think I do prefer that. Um, what did you say? What's going on here? Oh, it's because I got the thing up. Right. Just paused it. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. You're hilarious, my wife said my son's been kidnapped. What's wrong with you, Codsworth? Um Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I I Oh sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to. Has the no flickering stopped now that I've turned off the AA? Yeah, it might be something I've got a set within on. Oh, there's a little bit of it there that see that sort of shadow or light pop in. Yeah, it's still there. So I do wonder if setting something through either the Steam library. Oh, that's the point. Someone actually did say 
if you go into the Steam settings and set... No, it's not going camera settings, is it? Customize? No. So if you set the night mode... Oh, I can't. I can't set that. Some they said if you set night mode, that can make it look a bit better. But I don't have that option, so... Stay with me, pal. Focus. See, I think I prefer it without the AA, just because the distance looks a bit better. Also, it looks a bit... Close-up looks okay. Mid looks a bit funny. I think distance looks better. Oh my god, Codsworth, you are doing my head in. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, yes. All right. Lead the way. So, we're not going to search the neighbourhood. No, no, Podsworth. Oh, we have to. We're not going to. We're not going to. Well, I think I am probably going to call that about there then. It's been about 40 minutes or so, so that seems like a relatively sensible place to stop. So, that's your quick introduction to Fallout 4 VR. I am going to do a second quick look because I knew the first one would just be a lot of sort of character creation and getting out of the vault. I was very much anticipating that. So the second, I'm going to do a second quick look, which will be out in a day or two, and that's going to look at a bit more at the actual sort of world around us and how that all works. This is the tree in my 182 hour game. I built my base in like an inverted pyramid around this tree. So I had some stairs either side of it here. And I had a flat platform with little uh, half-height walls with turrets on it. And then I had two levels inside. And one, one side of it, this side here, the two or three levels were just all of my power armor suits just, uh, just all stacked up. It was amazing. I think on my Steam uh, profile, I think there's a picture of it there. So if you are friends with me on Steam, you I guess you can see that. I don't really know how Steam stuff works. So they're, they're gone, Codsworth. Yes, they're gone. They're gone. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there then. I very much hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Fallout 4 VR. Like I said, I'm not really intending on doing a full series on it. If there is a huge amount of demand, then, you know, I would. It's not that I wouldn't enjoy playing it again. It's just that it's not really high on my list of things to do. But if, like, if you know, a few of you do want to see that, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. That tree doesn't look too bad, does it? No, cool. All right then. So if you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button. That is, of course, very much appreciated. I might have a look at changing my graphic settings in terms of my actual NVIDIA settings to see if I can get some of this flickering to stop because that is a bit weird. Like I say, no one else has really reported the scene, so it must be something to do with me. So like it if you've, if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, any questions or comments, if you have any ideas on what I can do about this annoying flickering stuff, Leave them down below and I'll get back to you when I see them. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Fallout 4 VR for the second quick look at it, which will probably be the last one as well. And thank you very much for joining me.